please forgive the bluntness, but if I'm to be in this business, I shall feel responsible for the girl. I hope it's clearly understood that no advantage is to be taken of her position. What, that thing? <laughs> Sacred, I assure you. Come now, Higgins, you know what I mean. This is no trifling matter. Are you a man of good character where women are concerned? Have you ever met a man of good character where women are concerned? Yes, very frequently. Well, I haven't. I find the moment I let a woman makes friends with me, she becomes jealous, exacting, suspicious, and a damn nuisance. And I find the moment that I make friends with a woman, I become selfish and tyrannical. So here I am, a confirmed old bachelor, and likely to remain so. Well, after all, Pickering, I'm an ordinary man who desires nothing more than just an ordinary chance to live exactly as he likes and do precisely what he wants. An average man am I, of no eccentric whim, who likes to live his life free of strife, doing whatever he thinks is best for him. Well, just a, an ordinary man. But let a woman in your life and your serenity is through. She'll redecorate your home from the cellar to the dome, then go on to the enthralling fun of overhauling you. Let a woman in your life, and you're up against a wall. Make a plan and you will find she has something else in mind, and so rather than do either, you do something else that neither likes at all. You want to talk of Keats or Milton, she only wants to talk of love. You go to see a play or ballet and spend it searching for her glove. Let a woman in your life and you invite eternal strife. Let them buy their wedding bands for those anxious little hands. I'd be equally as willing for a dentist to be drilling than to ever let a woman in my life. A very gentle man, even tempered and good natured, whom you never hear complain, who has the milk of human kindness by the court in every vein. A patient man am I, down to my fingertips. The sort who never could, ever would, let an insulting remark escape his lips. A very gentle man. But let a woman in your life, and patient hasn't got a chance. She will beg you for advice, your reply will be concise, and she'll listen very nicely, then go out and do precisely what she wants. You are a man of grace and polish, who never spoke above a hush. Now all at once you're using language that would make a sailor blush. Let a woman in your life, and you're plunging in a knife. Let the others of my sex tie the knot around their necks. I prefer a new edition of the Spanish Inquisition than to ever let a woman in my life. I'm a quiet living man who prefers to spend the evenings in the silence of his room, who likes an atmosphere as restful as an undiscovered tomb, a pensive man of mine of philosophic joy, who likes to meditate, contemplate, free from humanity's mad in human noise. Quiet living man. But let a woman in your life, and your sabbatical is through, in a line that never ends, come an army of her friends, come to jabber and to chatter and to tell her what the matter is with you. She'll have a booming, boisterous family who will descend on you en masse. She'll have a large Wagnerian mother with a voice that shatters glass. Let a woman in your life. Let a woman in your I shall never let a woman in my life.